Hey there, thanks for tuning in. Thank you for clicking on my video. Um, my name is Rabbit, my pronouns are they, them, and today I wanted to show you guys all my one-of-a-kind dolls that I have made by myself. So uh, to give a little background about my doll making, I started like last month and it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. And then I had to take a break because all of the dolls that I made, I used a Krylon matte finish on. This, which um, actually turned them from matte to super shiny. This is the matte spray. I recommend you do not use it on their faces. I think it's fine on their bodies, but on their faces, it totally fucks them up, makes them super glossy and shiny and sticky. So learn from me, don't use Krylon matte finish on your dolls. They will get sticky and it sucks. Moving on. Ever since then, I've had to wait, but I haven't been able to make any new dolls. But these are all the ones that I've made so far. I made them all within the last like month, month and a half. And uh, this video is just gonna be introducing all of them and you know, like a little getting to know you of my dolls. And I'm gonna talk about like their star signs and maybe their like identities and labels cause all of my dolls are LGBTQIA+. So let's get into it. The uh, first doll that I ever, ever made uh, was named Cosmic Rat, and I'll just throw up a picture of them here. And um, they were just kind of like a random knockoff thrift store doll that I just kind of wanted to experiment with, like, can I even do this? And that's why I made them. So that was Cosmic Rat. Moving on to the dolls that I have here today. So the first, good catch. Okay, the first doll I ever made is Stella Marie. So Stella Marie is a, originally was a Laguna doll, as you can see from like her webbed hands and like maybe her little fins. Um, she's named Stella for the stars in her hair and Marie for like kind of Marie Antoinette vibes that I was trying to get with her when I was trying to make her. So she has green eyes, she doesn't have any pupils, she's an Aquarius like me, she's panromantic and asexual. And um, she's actually Alice's sister, Alice is like the bunny girl, I'll talk about her later. Um, first ever doll, original Laguna. We love her. She's wonderful. I really, I, I really, I'm, I'm proud of Stella. I think she turned out really nicely. Um, so the next doll I made was Flora. This is Flora. She's trans and she's a lesbian. And this is her girlfriend, Nixie. I'll talk about her later. And um, her sister is Fauna, but we'll talk about her later as well. Flora kind of reminds me of like the, there's like this Disney movie, like Fantasia, I think, that has like a forest sprite in it. She reminds me of her so hardcore. It wasn't what I was going for, but like she gives me those vibes and I really like it. I think she's super pretty. Um, she has like a little um, moss top, a little, like leafy bottom. She has gold freckles and um, purple eyeshadow, green eyes, green shading on her body. She was originally an Abby Abominable doll. Um, Flora is a Taurus and yeah, I really like Flora. I think she's, she's really special. So next is Fauna. Oh, Fauna, like I said, is Flora's sister. Flora Fauna, get it? <laughs>
Okay, uh, her little antlers come off. They are magnetically attached to her. Um, her top is made out of a ribbon and some pearls. Her bottom is made out of like a lace napkin that I had. Um, she's supposed to be kind of like a fawn sprite. She has like some kind of hair textures on her face and like lots of little white freckles on her body and on her face as well as pearls. Um, she's a Sagittarius. She's bi. I really like her. She has green eyes, kind of like a pink lip gloss and black lips on top. Yeah, she was originally a Cleo Denial doll, so yeah. And moving on to Amanita. Amanita is my boyfriend's favorite doll <laughs> that I made. This is her. She is supposed to be modeled after like an Amanita muscaria mushroom, like a fly agaric, you know those red white toadstools? That's what she is based on. Amanita's a Virgo. And I wanted to give her, I wanted her to look like she had cataracts. I don't know if that like really comes across in her eyes. She's like a little lace outfit and like lots of freckles and pearls on her body. I don't know if this is super inappropriate, but her like undies are really cute too. Like I painted these little like red and white toadstool moment. Like, hello, I'm sorry, that's precious, right? Sorry if that was like scandalizing for anybody. Um, yeah, I really like her. Next we have Clara. model her after Clara Bow, who was a silent film actress from I think the 1920s but she's also a flapper girl and um, she's a lesbian she is also a Scorpio so Clara has brown eyes and brown freckles and like purple lipstick hold on let me I feel like I can't get a good picture on this she stole Rochelle's shoes I'm sorry Rochelle um because I thought they like really suited her and they kind of like clash with the purple in her hair. And her hair was actually, this was the first time I um, brushed out yarn to make hair. So that was like super fun for me. And I think it like worked out pretty good for like a first try. Like it's, it's gotten better, but it wasn't so bad. And um, she, I painted little um, like gold flecks on her crow feather with some enamel. She has like this little like um, gem that like sparkles in like really pretty ways. Like all these pearl accessories. Um, she's just like a really funky gal. Uh, she was originally a Draculaura doll and I really like her. I kind of want to make like more flapper girls, 1920s ladies. I think it's like a sweet look and yeah, we stand a lesbian Scorpio queen, honestly. Um, next, Artemis. Ooh. Artemis is my sweet baby. Oh, I'm so sorry, Lilith. Haha, <laughs> okay, so Artemis, I love them.
So they're non-binary like me and bisexual like me. So they have a very special place in my heart. I don't know if I'm just like making vanity dolls. Like I'm like, yeah, they're all queer because me too. And um, we're getting off topic. Artemis is a Capricorn. Their clothes are made out of lots of lace scraps that I had lying around and they have a belly button piercing. They were also the first doll that I ever gave facial piercings to. So like check out their um, lip piercing and their bridge. I've always wanted one of those. Um, their flower in their hair, I made it out of clay and I actually have like matching jewelry because this was like um, left over from when I made like a cherry blossom costume for myself for like a thing. So like me and Artemis match, that's so cool. I'm like so excited about that. Um, they also have little stars on their body and they were originally a Claudine doll and I actually removed Claudine's ears and then put them lower and then like put longer earrings in them. Um, so I just did that with like an X-Acto knife and super glue. If you're wanting to do that yourself, I highly recommend it. Um, their hair is it's like all pastel rainbow colors. I think it's really pretty and um, they make me really happy. They were the first doll whose lashes I painted and they also have like green eyes that I think turned out really well and like very nice pink lipstick. Okay, Artemis, we love you. We stand. Okay, and then the one that almost fell, Lilith. I love Lilith. She's trans and she is a Pisces and she's pansexual. Um, Lilith was my first goth queen that I made. I love her so much. Um, uh, she has these like black roses in her hair, lots of face piercings. She has her um, bridge done, her, uh, what is this? Snake bites, um, a, little, a little septum piercing. Um, she has purple eyes and purple lips and like dark purple lips and purple um, brows and this really cute little like chain necklace I made her and this really cute little chain belt I made her and also I, uh, this is like a skirt that I have the matching one to because I actually to, like cut up my skirt to make her skirt and she has a belly button piercing and she's got these lovely fishnets that I made her and Frankie Stein's boots that I meant to repaint but haven't gotten to yet. And her hair is all these sorts of like pink and whites and purples and it has pearls in it. Um, she has silver freckles. She's best friends with Alice who's like my bunny girl. She has this like little lace top and like this little studded, studded lace ribbon top that I made her. It was really fun. I really can't wait to make more goth gals because I love them. I think they're so pretty. This is my only one that I have so far. Unless you like maybe count Clara, but not really. Anyway, um, this was originally a Gulia, and it was actually a Gulia that someone abandoned at the thrift store. And I freaking love when people abandon their doll projects at the thrift store because it makes me feel way less bad than like taking like a new, a new doll, like one of those, um, and freaking messing it all up. Not that I've I don't feel like I've messed any of these up really, but you know what I mean? Like it's it's way more satisfying when you can take something that someone already like was like, oh, I tried this and then I gave up. And anyway, um, next, next lady, we've already mentioned her briefly, but it's Nixie. <laughs> And that is Flora's girlfriend. And like, yeah, I didn't know they were girlfriends until I made them. And I was like, oh my God, you girls, you girls love each other. Like, how could you not? Like you're, you're, you're like, it's this really beautiful couple. Hold on, I'm just like rotating their faces. Like, look at them together. Like they are just like so clearly a couple. They are so clearly in love. I like love them together. I think they're so pretty. It looks like um, uh, Nixie has like Flora's 
skirt and like top matching set like oh, I just freaking love them I think they're super cute yeah so anyway enough about their beautiful relationship um Nixie was born out of a pearl in like my you know little fantasy imagination she has pearl eyebrows she has like all these residual pearls like on her skin and in her belt that is also falling off I'm sorry about that girl um she was originally a Laguna doll so she's got them webbed hands that little fin it's so cute I freaking I love her she has blue eyes she has purple lipstick she has purple eyeshadow she's kind of like a water goth pixie girl like how amazing and um she's a gemini she's bisexual and flora is a lesbian so like bisexual lesbian solidarity i am here for it i love it um i'm sorry if, if this is like too weird for y'all just like let me no no it's fine it's it's my dolls i can make them all gay if i want to okay next alice latest lady the last one that I made before I had to stop so she was originally a Frankie doll and I tried to like keep that Frankie like two different colored eye thing um, going on with her she's a bunny girl I hope you can tell um, her ears are posable because I put wire in them and there's like little pearls on them um, and on her face and she has like little freckles and like this little outfit um, her hair as usual has tons of accessories little beads and bits and bobs and braids and things um, I made her these little shoes these little bunny slippers that have like little bunny tails on the back which match her shorts that has a little bunny tail um, and then she has like yeah this she has this little hoodie that I made her there we go this is her little hood hoodie like I'm sorry I really like her I think she turned out like super precious and I can't wait to like use this hoodie pattern to make like more little jackets and stuff because I just like I think it looks really good and like I think she's really cute I, th I she was like one of the dolls that I used like really like fluttery lashes with and I think that it just like makes her look so like sweet and um I love it I think it I think it really works out um so those are all the dolls that I have made um in the works right now is a trans pride Claudine doll, a Draculaura strawberry doll, and this like pair of like goth girlfriend and pastel girlfriend that is um, Caddy Noir and Frankie Stein. So I'm really excited about those. Can't wait to show you guys. Once I get my Mr. Super Clear, please pray for me that I get Mr. Super Clear soon because I'm like so sad not being able to mod more dolls. All I've been able to do is like reroute and make their outfits. So it's very sad. Maybe I'll give a little preview of those in fact though. Okay. So first is my trans pride Claudine. Um, this is her body so far um, and like her outfit. Like it's like this little like sweater dress. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or if I'm gonna change it. It has a hood that should actually fit her head. And, like these little um, jewelries that I made her that are all like pink, white, and blue, you know, trans pride colors. And she's gonna have like a little flag in her hand and this is her hair so far. It's pink, white, and blue. I think it's really pretty and like um yeah I, I put her ears down because I think it just like gives her like a that really pretty like gelfling look you know like the dark crystal gelflings it makes me happy I think it's just like really pretty um next I'm so excited for this pair so my Caddy Noir and Frankie Stein like girlfriend pair that are gonna be in like little matching outfits they're in the works as you can see I just like was doing this one this afternoon and this one last night and like I still need to like do all their little accessories and stuff but I'm so stoked on how they're looking so far and Frankie's gonna be the goth and like I have her hair started this looks like ringing I'm sorry um I have her hair started but I don't know I might like redo it but I don't know this is um Caddy's hair that I'm gonna be using. Still need to take her face off and reroute her, but um, I made all this like pastel hair and it's just been like, sitting in this bag. So I think it will be perfect for this little like 
girlfriend pairing. I'm so excited for them. And lastly, this is like my bag of strawberry Dracula. This is her hair. It's all pink and green. Can you guys see? I'm sorry. Pink and green. Like super pastel. I have like little lace that I got from the thrift store and like little lace pieces. And I've made her some little jewelries. And like lots of times I will get baby clothes to make dog clothes from because they're really cheap and from the thrift store and like these are like some little strawberry printed ones so I don't know if they're gonna be her dress or like her leggings or something but it's gonna be so freaking cute and I can't wait to keep you guys posted I can't wait to keep you that doesn't make any sense I'm excited to show you guys um, once my mister super clear what um, how these ladies and people's all turn out I think it's gonna be super fun um, I wanted to thank you guys so much if you've like watched my video till now like holy shit that's so nice of you thank you I hope your day is going great and if it's not I hope it goes better so that's all I got for now I might do like a doll tour one day of my monster high dolls that are like not in my stock box which are these guys all my like display dolls if you guys want to see that please comment and let me know because I would love to show you but I don't know if there's like any interest for it um, in the meantime, stay safe um, in this pandemic time, especially wear your masks if you can and be kind to each other. And I'm sending you all my love and bye for now. Okay, bye.